Okay, here we have freshly delivered our new main breaker. And we're going to swap it out so that it stops tripping if our furnace or AC is on while simultaneously the drying, the clothes dryer is happening or we're baking anything. Because if those two happen simultaneously, then our current main trips and it has done it like three times and... <laughs> five minutes before basically so it's really bad and that means we got to go out right now in the snow and uh, set it on again so we finally were able to find one of these new and we're gonna go swap it out should be pretty simple should be turn off the old one click it out pull it out Loosen those two screws, and pull that up so the wires come out, and then the reverse to put it back in. Should be done pretty quick. That's what I'm hoping, but we'll find out. So here is our main, and here is the box where it is located. And here's my handful. this up that's where our nice old breaker is and you can see it's been there a while Now before I pull this panel off, I'm just going to trip, flip the breaker off. Okay, the screws are out, just a couple of screws. That's off. Down and out. And there we have the beast. Set the cover down. Okay. So, that's off, that's disconnected, as far as that goes, here are the two screws, need loosen to remove the cables that are below, you can see that one of them overheated at some point it seems, right there, and so that may need replaced we'll see what there is to see when this comes out okay so to remove this you pull it down from the top and it's pretty strong for just one hand there we go and that's disconnected. Now I'm going to lift up. That pulls it out. Those are the big holes. Those go in. And you can see this has been there for quite some time. So I've got the new one. And put them side by side for you on the little panel cover here. Here we go. 
They both say off. That position. Down. Now, when you, if you need to buy one of these, what we learned is that they sell them just like this in one and a quarter inch and one and a half inch. Ours is one and a half. Big holes there. Everything correlates on the back. Vents on the top. And there were dead bees on here when I came and looked at this the other day to make sure I bought the right one. Side comparisons. Other side. And this one goes in. So I'm going to remove those spacers and get this installed in there. Give me a sec. Okay, so to remove those spacers, I'm simply going to loosen the screws until they fall out, just like that. There we go. Now what I'm not sure is if that opening is adequate for me to do this one-handed. So we will find out. Everything's lined up, but I'm not sure. Ah, and it looks like it. So. Tighten those up. That one's tight. That one is tight. Let's just make sure. No individual movement. No. Moment of truth. Let's see if it fits. Make sure it's off first. Place it into the base. It has that little curve. Upward on the side, you see? Let's see if I can get a better angle for you. Right there. Sorry for bouncing around. It's a tight spot. Right there it curves out. It's going to sit on top of that little edge. And that will hold it in where it's supposed to be. But we got to make sure that the lines on the back go right where they should. That's looking good. Let's see if the other one, I need to scoot it this way. That looks good, I'll push it back. And let's see. My alignment's off on something.
<laughs> Didn't expect this to be the hardest part. I think that's not all the way in yet. Maybe it is. So that seems to be firmly set in place. Let's make sure that it lines up with the cover on it. And it does. And I just need to, let's see, fit under. It's not. Just a little over that bottom of this frame here, but and you see it's down a little there, but we'll see. I'll go ahead and put these screws back in. I'm going to put these screws back in. And we'll be back. All right, so that's in. I'm gonna flip the switch, see if this light comes on. And it's on. And that's all there was to it. Our main breaker is replaced. Box is closed. Hold it out. And now the real test as the furnace kicks back on i'm going to dry some clothes that we washed already and see if it trips the new one so <coughs> just show you one more time the new one the old one and that's, uh, as you can see, it's had better days. And so hopefully the new one has a long time because this was in there for probably at least 50 years and half a century. I think that's pretty good service at a, a breaker. I'm okay with that as long as this really is the only fix. And I just gave that a bump and with the end of the uh, screwdriver handle and that place that right in there right where it's supposed to be it just slid right in so seems to be working and hopefully that's it so sorry for the shaky video but as far as a Type Q 100 amp Zinsco style breaker. That's it. Two screws and you're done. So 15 minutes is long enough, I think, to tell about that. If you have any experience with this, then please share your experiences. And if this does not fix the problem then i'll do an update video but if it does then you probably won't see any more about it because i won't have any more issues to tell about and we'll just have to wait and see so thank you for taking the time to watch this and please comment uh, so that i can help improve my uh, home with your experience if you've got positive experiences to share and 
then also please subscribe to our channel and help that to grow and to share our content with others. We really appreciate that. And we look forward to sharing new updates to this home of ours and we're gonna put put out some formal videos hopefully soon uh, introducing uh, our home and so thank you much have a great rest of your day or night and we appreciate you